Kanye's response to his White Lives Matter shirt was alarming. I'm breaking down why this is harmful and shutting down the responses from his supporters. Kanye West and Candace Owens pulled up to a Paris fashion show rocking this. Ye and Candace both jump at any moment to catch the spotlight, so no surprise. Candace is a conservative commentator popular for saying things like this. Oh, Candace Owens, we don't want you in our culture. You don't understand black culture. I have to keep reminding you that I don't want to be a part of this culture. I want to destroy it. And Kanye is popular for saying things like this. When you hear about slavery for 400 years, for 400 years, that sounds like a choice. As soon as these hit the runway, Jaden Smith walked out the dough and followed up with a tweet saying Black Lives Matter. Put the clap emoji in the comments for Jaden because yeah. As stated by the Anti-Defamation League, White Lives Matter emerged as a racist response to the Black Lives Matter movement in 2015 and has been adopted and promoted by white supremacist groups. So many people are trying to support Kanye, and this tweet put it best. Kanye West's decision to wear a White Lives Matter shirt is disgusting, dangerous, and irresponsible. Some of y'all rushed to defend him. You should ask yourself why. Ye said before that he is bipolar, so many are pointing that out. But have you realized that he is quiet and supportive when he needs to be, but as soon as he has a big fashion drop, or new album, or a new Yeezy launch, it's let me say something crazy to get black people mad and get white people to fund my stuff. Jay-Z said in a song to stop wearing his red cap and Kanye was quiet, but when he's about to launch a product, he will take any chance to tear down a community to get seen. And I bet at the next white riot, we're gonna see these shirts now that the MAGA hats are out of style. Kanye's response to all of this was, everyone knows that Black Lives Matter was a scam. Now it's over, you're welcome. The community cuts him slack all the time, saying he's just trolling or he doesn't mean it. And it reminds me of a toxic relationship. We saw how good he was for the community in his songs, talking about the struggles and love for black people, and we loved him back. I hate the way they portray us in the media. If you see a black family, it says they're looting. If you see a white family, it says they're looking for food. George Bush doesn't care about black people. But now he is showing another harmful side, one that supports a group that hates us, a group that he is a part of, and how selfish he is to choose that group because he thinks it benefits him. And we have to know when to let that go because this is his true colors and he doesn't care about you. Move on, drop him, and listen to Kendrick Lamar instead. <laughs> Candace Owens' response was even more insane. Follow for part two, and please share to get the word out. If you want something to go against this, I have my America Was Never Great hats at cutbycrystal.com. <laughs> <laughs>